Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Nirsh Kumar Singh and today we are continuing with our Jira administration tutorial. As a part of this very first tutorial of our series, we are trying to set up the instance itself. Now of course, to start working with the administrator, we need a particular software to be installed. And when you talk about being an administrator for Jira, the very first thing you must know is how to install the server edition or server instance of Jira on a particular server itself or maybe a machine. Now, of course, that would require you to know a little bit of configuration, setting up the URL and the port itself. Now, not going to the in-depth details of that, which you will understand slowly as you go ahead with the tutorials in the upcoming uh, tutorial as well. Now, as a part of this particular tutorial, we'll be just doing a basic installation and understanding that what kind of steps are involved in setting up and configuring the Jira server instance. So let's get started and understand a little more about how to do the same job. So we will be getting started with downloading and installing the Jira server instance. As a part of this tutorial, we are setting up the Jira server instance on our machine. As part of this tutorial, you will understand how to download Jira server and how to install Jira server instance. To begin with the download process, of course, you can just visit quickly Google and type about the Jira software download. And uh, the very first link which will be shown to you is the Jira server download link. And uh, it will be specific to Jira software because you know there are different variants of it. Like we have Jira core, we have Jira service desk, which is now called a service management. So we will be getting the server edition for the Jira software, which is by default. So just click on the very first link and you'll be taken to the download page of the Jira server. Now you will be provided with two options here. Number one, the long-term support release and the latest release. The difference between these two versions is there's one version which is long-term support release, which is the most stable one. And uh, any organization would prefer to make use of stable versions in order to make sure that they do not face any kind of challenges with the trial features or new features, which could be in beta versions or so on. So this version on the left long-term support release is a stable version from Atlassian of the same thing which you are looking for. And uh, currently, as on this date when we are creating this tutorial, we have the version 8.13 as on today. On the other side, we do have something called as latest release. That means they have done certain modifications to the uh, Jira software server instance. And uh, this is all in the beta like the new new features which they have integrated to existing are in their beta phases but of course you might not be getting a proper support for those new features if you get stuck so that's the reason uh, generally being an organization you don't go for this but there's no harm if you are looking forward to explore more that what's new between 8.13 to 8.14 so just you can look for that and you can actually have a quick uh, understanding of what new will be expected now the second most important thing is the you know, version or the operating system which you are going to use. So you can directly go with the operating system X or you can go for downloading a zip file or tad.zs archive file or even directly on the Linux or even for Windows. So no matter what machine you're using, what operating system you are making use of, you can make use of all the links here which are available for anyone. So if you're using a Windows, if you're using a Linux, you're using a Mac, you are free to download that version. So for me, it is Windows 64-bit. Uh, so I'm just going for that and just click on download. As I have already downloaded, I'll not click on download right now because that will begin your process of downloading. But let's go to the installation part now. Once you're done downloading your Jira software version, uh, you just have to go to that and right click on it and run it as administrator. Don't forget you're trying to install a server instance of a particular software. So you need to have access to the administrator rights. If you do not have access, try, try to get one. And uh, because if you are not uh, as an administrator to install the server instance of the Jira software, uh, you will not be allowed to install at all. So you, as the server installation requires access to the home directory of the operating system and has to take uh, necessary uh, you know, steps in order to make changes to the directory uh, to make it accessible. So you have to be administrator. Just click on run as administrator. Just don't go for double clicking on the setup file. 
you have to run it as administrator and provide the access to the C drive. Okay, so say yes there and uh, the extraction of the files will begin shortly. It's a very short and simple installation. We just take a few moments to complete the process. Now, the most important part uh, will come after this. You just have to click on next on this. And here is the part of it. So here are two types of installation which you get with Jira software server instance. That is express install or custom install. If you talk about express install, uh, you know, first of all, you should talk about how exactly your server installation happens. It generally makes necessary configuration settings or the configuration changes to the operating system or the database. So if you are probably, I'm not sure how far you know about server installations. Uh, server has a lot of things like databases and schemas to be created and definitely determined because a particular server might be having many other products already installed on it and there must, there must be different ports which they are actually accessing. So if, if the ports are not free, then definitely you have to reconfigure to some other port number. So if you are not the one who knows everything about the databases and installation on a server side, uh, then you should go for the first option that is express install. But if you are someone who knows exactly how to configure the server size settings, then you can go for custom install to set it up. You can see that recommended for advanced users. So right now I'm going with express install because I'm using Microsoft Windows 10 and I'm not using a server edition to you know reconfigure my ports and other things. So just click on next and it will declare you what port number or it is going to use so it's going to use 8080 because it is free and it will just occupy there click on the installation and it will take a few minutes to complete the process but not long just hardly like two or three minutes to complete the process all right so we are now done with the server side installation and uh, if you're again aware uh, whenever you make use of uh, an application which is installed on the server you have to do a second part of installation which is client side so it is inbuilt in the all the setup applications. So you don't have to do anything. You just have to go for next and it will set up the client side installation for you to access the product from server. So it says start Jira software now. Just click on next. So it will do the configuration for the client side installation for the web browser to launch the uh, Jira software server instance. As soon as it is done, you will be provided with a quick button to launch it and we are good to go. So launch Jira software in browser and click finish. Now you see that uh, my browser is getting launched with localhost colon 8080 and uh, I should be seeing uh, not this message. Okay, so it says we can't reach this page. So make sure that you've got the rights to this address. So that means that my server is not yet up. Okay, I have to start my server in order to access Jira. So Jira is installed on the server, but the server is not yet up. Now what exactly that is and what you have to do for this? So for that, you just have to access to your directory where your Jira is installed. So my Jira is installed in C drive, uh, program files, Atlassian folder. So this folder will be created when the server instance is installed. And you have to just go to Jira folder and as you need access as a Fed administrator, click on continue. And uh, as soon as you gain access to it, you will have, you can see the entire directory and the root folders of Jira software, which is installed. And there are a lot of many other things which you don't have to worry about. Now inside this, you have the working directory called as bin. So bin folder, you have to access that. And this is your command for starting the Jira on Windows. That is start hyphen Jira as a Windows batch file. But even if you're talking about the Linux, then you have sh, uh, you know, start startup.sh and stop. So you have to go with start hyphen Jira. So you can directly double click on this, but not every time that works. So you have to go with the proper method to do the same job. So just uh, go to your command prompt and make sure that you are running the command prompt as well as an administrator. Okay, so whatever you do must be as an administrator. So run as administrator. And now we need to change our directory to the path of the bin folder. And then we have to reach out to that. So sorry about this. So the command here is CD followed by the path. 
and then our file name is start hyphen Jira so just type that start hyphen Jira and run so now you'll see that your server is getting started up and it's going to make use of Apache Apache Tomcat uh, 8.5.7 some version which they have installed to access the same thing now by having this server being up you can go back to your browser and refresh it so once you refresh you should be able to see the uh, Jira instance which is installed okay sometime it takes a little time now this time they're asking you do you want to set up uh, the basic configurations like licensing part and setting up the default options which you get with the Jira software automatically if in case you do not know how to do that you can go for the first option that is set it up for me and the Atlassian will set it up everything for you but if you think that you are already an administrator you have a good knowledge of database architectures and creation of the same and how to install a license for this you can go for I will set it up myself as the second option so for us uh, we just getting you know quite beginners and we're getting started so we don't know anything so set it up for me and click on continue to my Atlassian now this page will take you to the Atlassian website to do the configurations and of course even setting up your trial license so you will see that uh, the new trial license option is available here so what is uh, there is a license available for Jira software and Jira software data center so server or data center we will talk about the difference between data center and server later but now let's, let's click on select on the server instance and uh, you need to tell them about your organization probably this is not your organization maybe XYZ <laughs> you can have anything there and uh, you need to tell about your server whether it is up and running or not installed yet so they will just configure everything for you so for us the server is already up and running just click on generate license now this will generate a trial license for 30 days and you can make use of it so now we have here the confirmation and the license is here that is uh, a key a license key which will be automatically deployed on your local host so server is identified and just click on yes now the moment you say yes uh, it will set it up and uh, they will ask you to create an administration account team do not forget that I've already enrolled on the Jira Atlassian so it did not ask me for creating an account but when you are doing it for the first time you will be asked to create two different accounts. number one to have access to the Jira software and number two is for the administrator for example now my first part is already done because I was already a user of Jira now this is my second part of it so that is for administrative access so let me just create it as uh, uh, my dummy ID Jeanette India at the rate uh, gmail.com user ID is this and password is that's not going to be told to you <laughs> okay and uh, that's it click on next so this page will take a little moment to do the basic in setup and license configurations and other things to create an account and uh, once you're done that's it voila you're ready with your account to make use of it that's it so now you're done doing all the installation and setup part once for all and you don't have to do it once again and this is your link to access your Jira server instance at any point of time so don't forget to make a note of it once you're done completing all this process this link will be displayed to you because uh, next time to access it on your browser this is the link which you will need so just make sure that you make a note of it and click on let's get started so as soon as you click on this particular link uh, you will be taken to the next page of it where you'll be asked to create the next project all right this is a slight thing spending from our end to be done select the language click on English and if you are from any other country just click on select the specific language and it can be localized click on continue and if you're interested to have an avatar for your profile you can obviously select one which suits the best your personality and uh, probably let me just go with something funny here yeah, okay this one it should be fine click on next and that's it so hold on here uh, we were just talking about setting up the Jira server instance of the Jira software you can confirm it on the left you have the Jira software instance being installed so right now we are here 
If you know a little bit about how to create project and work on that, you can click on create new project and start working. But I'll get back to you with a proper process to work on getting started with the Jira. Don't worry about this. You are done with all setup. Anytime you can come back and uh, log into your Jira credentials so, and you will always land up at this place because right now you do not have any project with you and you are an administrator. As an administrator, you have to create the first project. Even if you don't create a project or what if you have already created a project, don't worry, we can always start from here. So hold on there, I'll be getting back to you with another tutorial. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to respond to your query and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching.